Hey guys, and welcome back to Hustle On Purpose. Today we're gonna to be talking about the top three things you need to focus on on your residential remodels to maximize the value you get out of them. Number one is curb appeal. The house has to look good from the street. As you can see here, we've done things like a brand new driveway, a new paint job, and a new roof. The yard is kind of a mess. We're getting that addressed immediately because uh, we wait until after the driveway was done because when they pour this new driveway, they have to dig up dirt for the forms and make sure the water runs off correctly. We've gotta get all this dirt fixed. We've gotta get our new flower beds. But like I said, we wait until the driveway was done because they drive trucks in here. It just makes a big mess. And if you've got brand new landscaping, it can get messed up and it's a huge problem. Like I mentioned before too, we've got our new roof. The roof is 40 to 50% of what you see from the street. So it really makes a dramatic impact on how good or how bad the house looks when a potential buyer pulls up. Um, also, new paint colors went kind of neutral, really fits with the vibe of the neighborhood, but it's fresh, it's clean, it looks good. Uh, now we're on to number two priority, which is the kitchen. Let's go. The most common question I get asked is, GT, how do I get started in real estate investing? My go-to answer is to go talk to Robbie Cole at Benchmark Home Loans. Robbie will help you figure out the best loan option for you in your current situation and help you with that long-term planning as well. He gives out free advice seven days a week and he would love to help you. So if you're one of the people that's been afraid to start that conversation, I encourage you to stop right now and call 501-777-9995 so that you can start your investing journey or take it to that next level. Once again, that's Robbie Cole at Benchmark Home Loans, 501-777-9995. All right, so here we are in the kitchen. It's the heart of the home. It's where everybody's looking at. People these days wanna move into a, a move-in ready spot. They don't wanna move into a kitchen that looks like it's got a lot of work that needs to be done, repairs that may be costly um, and take a long time. Nobody wants to live in a house where they have to redo the kitchen because what are you going to do without a kitchen while that remodel is happening, right? So here's a few things we did here that I think really set it apart. A is an island. Everybody loves having an island these days. Got this beautiful countertop space here, new countertops, custom-made island. Going to have two pendants here. You can see the electricians are here working. We got a lot of their stuff. These are custom cabinets around, uh, new dishwasher here, floating shelves. This is all gonna get a tile backsplash, which is gonna look great. We also have it wired up for under cabinet lights, which really make a dramatic difference, make it look a lot better. Uh, new stove here, new vent hood, new fridge, and then check this out. So this is our hidden butler's pantry. So looks like a cabinet. You know, if you don't know any better, it looks like it may even just be a small pantry, but open up the door and you walk in and you have a whole nother set of countertops here for cooking appliances. You can have your coffee maker, um, all kinds of stuff like this. So a really big benefit here. We've also got a tall cabinet here, brooms, vacuums, all that kind of stuff. So uh, this kitchen will help sell this house and help us get the most value for our dollar. Now, priority number three is the master bath. Let's go check it out. The master bathroom is the bathroom where typically the buyer of the home is going to use. And people care about their children and their children's bathrooms, but not as much as they care about the bathroom that them and their spouse are gonna be using day in and day out. And once again, people want move in ready, right? They don't wanna buy a new house, have all you know the excitement of the new home, just have it crushed by, how are we gonna remodel the bathroom? You're a nurse and I work at a bank. We don't know anything about bathroom remodels, right? Like, what are we gonna do without a bathroom while a bathroom's getting remodeled? All these kind of questions. You wanna eliminate all those hurdles for a buyer and give them the move-in ready bathroom of their dreams. This is a bathroom we completely created from scratch. This house is on a slab. We had to completely move all of the plumbing, but I think it was well worth it. Has single vanity before. We've now made that to where you have his and hers vanities. And then this is the, the piece de resistance, right? We're gonna have a standalone tub here with this accent tile wall. 
Uh, don't know anybody that, especially women, my wife is gonna be jealous of this. The standalone tub is gonna be great. And then you have his and hers entrances into this wonderful custom shower that we've built here. So you have his and hers shower heads. You've got uh, the movable shower wand here, as well as on top of that, you have this great massive rain head up above. Since we built this shower from scratch, you also get to do things like build in niches like this for shampoos and soaps and whatever. And then this is a creative new thing we're trying in our custom showers. This is a little ledge for your lady. Shave her legs or whatever it is that you wanna use it for. So really excited about the shower. It will undoubtedly help us sell this house for the maximum profit and give our future buying client a great place to live. So go out there, do a renovation like this, focus on these three things, all the rest of it will work itself out and hustle on purpose. Thanks for watching. If you liked that video as much as we liked making it, be sure to check out another one. You've got one here. You got another one over here. If you want to listen to the podcast audio only, go check out the Spotify link in the description. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. It helps us out a ton. And please hit the bell if you want notifications anytime we drop a new video. Hope to see you on the next one.